All right, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Fro Thizzle in the building. And today, I'm going to be talking about the 2008 flick, Gran Torino, starring and directed by Clint Eastwood. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Eastwood plays a grumpy loner of a man named Walt Kowalski, who also happens to be a Korean War veteran. We start the movie off with his wife's funeral, and right off the bat, we see some of his sons and his family talking shit about how grumpy and how miserable Walt is. As the movie goes on, we find out that his family's pretty shitty, and they want nothing to do with Walt. Some Hmong people move in as the new neighbors, and there's some huge racial tension jumping off from the start. One day, Tao, the next door neighbor, one of the Hmong people, breaks into Walt's garage to steal his Gran Torino as a gang initiation. So while we're not focusing on Walt in the movie, Tao is getting constantly harassed and tailed by a Hmong gang. I mentioned that Walt is a very grumpy old man, but he also happens to be a racist, grumpy old man. The story turns into an unlikely pair where they hate each other from the beginning and they end the film pretty much as family or very close. And I do think Gran Torino handles that very well. I know a lot of people have problems with the racial humor and the racial overall tension and situations, how Walt is calling the Hmong people the worst names in the book, etc. Walt starts off the movie as a self-centered, very cranky, leave me the fuck alone type of guy. And by the end of the movie, I love his character development. He really shows that he has a heart. And without going into spoilers, at the end of the movie, Walt makes a huge act of kindness which ends up saving the Hmong people. This is probably my favorite Clint Eastwood performance. And I know there's a hundred movies to choose from, good and the bad and the ugly, fistful of dollars, etc. But this is my favorite Eastwood film. I can understand people having a problem with the humor because it's nonstop racial remarks and cracks. But for a drama flick, I think this is one of the funniest movies of all time. Like this movie literally has me on the floor cracking up really hard. John Carroll Lynch plays Walt's barber, and I think they have excellent banter whenever John pops up on the screen. These two were great together, and I wish John Carroll Lynch popped up just a little bit more, because his character was fucking hilarious. A big reason why I love this movie is that while it's really funny, it does know when to take itself seriously. Like, I think the dramatic moments are handled very well. One nitpick I do have... Near the end of the movie, something crazy happens to one of the Hmong people next door. And it is crazy. I think that moment, very well done. But Walt goes back to his house and he has a freak out and he starts punching out fucking glass with his old ass hands. And it's very noticeable. You can see Clint's age when he's punching through the glass. But overall, I love this movie. I think it's fucking awesome. I like Tal, the next door neighbor, and I like the relationship between him and Walt. And I even like Tal's sister, Sue, and the family with them. Awesome dialogue that's very humorous, but knows when to take itself seriously. And this is a movie I can rewatch a hundred times. They re-released this in theaters a couple months ago, and I was there. I said, fuck it. Little bit of trivia, I know the actor playing Tal does not like this movie at all. In fact, he was very offended. He didn't like the racial humor. Just wasn't his cup of tea. I guess he didn't like how it unfolded on the screen. There's also a weird YouTube video where the roles are reversed and Tao's playing Walt and Walt is supposed to be Tao. While I can't take that away from him, from my perspective, I love this fucking movie. I think it's fantastic. And I'm going to give Gran Torino a 10 out of 10. And that's it, y'all. It's your boy Fro Thizzle. Until next time, peace. Yeah, don't swear at the guy. Just talk about people who are not in the room. Uh, you could bitch about your boss uh, making you work overtime when it's bowling night. Right, or uh, my old lady bitches for two goddamn hours about how uh, they don't take expired coupons at the grocery store, and the minute I turn on the fucking game, she starts crying how we never talk. See, now go out. Come back and talk to him. And it ain't rocket science, for Christ's sake. Yeah, but I don't have a job, a card, or a girlfriend. Jesus. I should have blown his head off when I had the chance. Yeah, maybe so. Now, okay, I want you to turn around and go outside and come back and don't talk about having no job, no car, no girlfriend, no future, no dick, okay? Just turn around and go.